Lastly, at the end of No Mercy, I really wanted to see Jade Cargill debuting, but the way they built Jade Cargill, probably she's not gonna be in NXT at all. So she's gonna be either on Raw or SmackDown, uh, which means that she won't be competing for the NXT Championship probably because they're promoting her really, really, really hard. And that is kind of bad because the expectations now are high, are super high for Jade Cargill. I had high expectations for her, but this was just me. This was just me. Now everyone has high expectations and it's better to have low expectations, don't you think? Because Jade Cargill is amazing. She has the looks, she has the it in my opinion. She has that superstar aura, right? If no one knows her, she's gonna stand out. But the way they built her, they built her like Sasha Banks is coming back kind of situation. And the expectations are there. And I don't think she's ready for these expectations. She's good. She's amazing. But this will be a bad thing. And I'm excited to see her. Really excited, really pumped. I want to see what's in front of her. I want to see Jade Cargill versus Charlotte, versus Becky, versus Bianca, versus everyone. But the way they build it, I think it's a double-edged sword. 